Hey, it's Hobbs here with task four of the Yasharaj event. The task in question is completing the Nazoth bounty with Nazoth in your party. This isn't actually that hard of a task to actually do if you have access to Nazoth. If you don't, I'm sad to say you can't really do this task and you're going to have to try to grind him out. I don't know if you can actually craft him or unlock him through packs right now i know there were some issues early on and i don't know if those are still a thing but it is a warning that i need to give i actually did this in two ways the first one being fire where we're using get in with mark of conflagration belinda with lesser water elemental ragnaros with blazing rune and chiji with blazing band but for the most part i didn't actually need to bring in chiji for this so you could easily replace him with Antonidas or something else. You really just need the first three mercenaries and the rest is whatever you want to bring. To get both to the boss and to do the boss itself, I use Belinda, Geddon, and Ragnaros for this. And for the other comp that I actually used to complete this task, it was Holy. Holy is actually pretty decent overall too do this to uh you mainly need any type of build that can do a bunch of aoe damage without actually increasing their attack by a lot so you're going to want to avoid treasures that actually increase the attack of your individual mercenaries and this is actually probably the second best way to do it and when we're using harmonic mallet Valin, we're using tome inspiration cornelius we're using shield of the dawn doesn't really matter what you're using here but that's what i like to default to when i'm using cornelius and this probably should be in the middle of the other ones and for the bench it doesn't really matter what you have besides nazoth the other two are just in here because a i was doing a task for bash and cookie is just appetizers all right, so let's look at how I did this with fire. Then we'll, then we'll look at how I actually did this with holy. Now time for fire. I'm going to put down Geddon, Belinda, and Ragnaros. Going to hard focus down the main add so we can start doing damage to Nazoth. Now that the bubble is off of Nazoth, we just repeat what we did last turn and win from here. All right, for Holy, we are just putting down Anduin, Cornelius, and Valen. To start out with, we're hard targeting down the add here, even attacking with Cornelius, mainly because neither of them actually can attack, and they're going to spawn to spawns anyway, so it doesn't really matter too much. Cornelius does have the treasure whenever he takes damage, it does AoE damage to everything else, but it actually isn't really necessary to actually complete this. And now we're going to use... Anduin's second ability followed by Bolin's second or third ability while also putting up a, or attacking into Nazoth. I probably should have put up the taunt and actually healed Anduin a little bit here but it isn't technically necessary because we do have access to a bunch of healing right here. Mass Hysteria doesn't do us much there. We're going to actually heal just to make sure Anduin actually stays alive. Because this could have been really bad if I didn't. And it's probably safer just to heal up every individual turn. But it might take a little bit longer to actually complete this task if you do. And then from here it's just rinse and repeat until the boss is dead.
All right, I hope this video was helpful for you. And if it was, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe. Until the next task and the next day, bye-bye.